Thanks for tuning in guys. I'll be going over the optimal page replacement algorithm today. And this in itself isn't actually an algorithm that can actually be applied um, or rather implemented. Of course it can be applied uh, because this is basically the best case scenario. So whenever you come up with a new way of doing page replacement or you use one that currently exists you're basically performing it or comparing it rather to this one because this is as good as it, as good as it gets and the reason we can't actually implement this is because we can't really know what's coming next so that would require knowing the future basically so what this algorithm does is it basically looks ahead and sees what number is or what is being used again in the future and if it does come up then depending on how soon it reappears is what's gonna go ahead and help you make your decision on whether or not it is one that's getting replaced or not so here's the reference string I have prepared and we're gonna go ahead and get started now so as with the other ones um, I'm gonna go ahead and only add uh, the images for the actual page faults so we start by putting the 7 in uh, then we're gonna go ahead and add the 0 and then the 1 now once we're here at the two, we have to make a decision. So we got to decide what we're replacing. And the way we're going to make this decision is by looking um, at the reference string and seeing what is going to come up in the near future. So we look at the seven, and we don't really see the seven come up until way in the back of the reference string. So let's look at the zero next. So the zero comes up right after the two so we're not going to touch the zero and then we look at the one and it looks like it's pretty far in the back of the reference string as well but it comes up twice actually before the seven although how many times it comes up before the seven is of no ref relevance really um, it does come up before the seven so that's really the driving factor here because it comes up before the seven we're gonna be replacing the seven with the two so once again that is the reason we're replacing the seven with the two is because zero comes up immediately afterwards and one comes up also before the seven reappears in the reference string so we went ahead and did that and then we look at the zero the zero is already there so we really just copy it over and do nothing there then we look at the three now the three we have to make a decision again and uh, we, we're basically going to do the same thing so we look at the two and the two seems to come up in the near future we look at the zero the zero also comes up um, actually more recent or sooner than the two and then we look at the one and we see that the one is going to come up again also but it's going to come up after uh, the two and the zero so it's the one that gets replaced with the three next um, I'm gonna skip it because this one isn't the zero appears so it's not a page fault uh, you can choose to either copy it over or leave it blank it's up to you I'm only representing page faults on in this demonstration so next we go to the four and uh, in this instance we again do the same process so we look at the two the two is coming up right after the four so it's not gonna it's not gonna be the one that's gonna get replaced uh, we look at the three and the zero so the zero is actually coming up right after um, right after the three so because of that um, zero is gonna get replaced and uh, then we do nothing because we have a hit and we move on until we get to the zero so 
uh, again we're forced to make a decision here and we gotta decide what is needing to be replaced because it's not coming up so here we're gonna go ahead and choose to replace the four then we get a couple of hits again and we do nothing um, with those and next we get to the one here and here again we have to make a decision and we're gonna go ahead and look at the reference string once again and we're gonna replace it with the three so we remove the three and we add the one then we get a few more hits um, all the way until we make it to the seven so now we're at the seven and we look at our current frames we have a zero and we have a one we don't have a two that's gonna come up after the seven so the two gets replaced and then um, the zero and the one are also hits so we do nothing with those and hopefully uh, that was clear and you understood the process that you kinda of, you're basically really just looking at um, which number is coming up most recently and those are the safe ones so you leave those alone and the one that doesn't either it doesn't come up in the reference string at all or it comes up after the other two or depending on how many uh, slots you have in the frames um, that's basically how you make your decision so hopefully you understood that and this was helpful and thank you very much for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed the video thank you